Well, we are going to turn now overseas. There's a new baby. We've well, heard of him, Prince George. Yeah, I think I've heard of him. Yeah, well, uh, it, the fanfare around him isn't over quite yet. The world's most famous baby. Uh, well, Britain is pr busily preparing for the newest royals christening. It's an important welcome into the Church of England, and we're learning more details this morning about the event being called an intimate affair. ABC's Lama Hassan is in London with the details. Everyone, of course, just wants to get a sneak peek at his face, Lama. Oh, absolutely. Good morning to you, Bianca. Well, mark your diary, synchronize your watches, because we finally have a date for that long-awaited christening of little George. And all the details carefully chosen by William and Kate, showing yet again how unique they are as a royal couple. The date, October 23rd. The place, the Chapel Royal at St. James's Palace. The event, the royal christening of Prince George Alexander Louis, third in line to the throne. William and Kate break from tradition, picking a venue that hasn't hosted a royal christening for 25 years, a place where Diana was last bid farewell by her family before her funeral. I think what's really nice is that all the way through his relationship with Kate, he has included his mother in some way. He gave her, he gave Kate his mother's engagement ring, and I think this is a way of him including Princess Diana in Prince George's life as well. But don't expect to attend this royal ceremony. This is typically a private event for close friends and family. There is one way to feel included, your very own commemorative coin. The five pound coins will be available in solid gold, silver, and a more affordable option. And this is the first time new coins have ever been produced for a royal christening in Britain. And I think that really says everything about just how big a moment this christening is for the country. Prince George's christening will be conducted by the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby, and the baby will wear a replica of the christening gown made for Queen Victoria's eldest daughter in 1841. The Queen is also expected to pose in a highly anticipated photo capturing all three future monarchs, her son Charles, Prince of Wales, her grandson William, and of course, great-grandson George. It's the first time a picture of this kind has been taken for more than 100 years um, and to have four generations of the royal family and the queen and three kings in waiting is, is a pretty special thing. And as a betting nation, the bets are already on on who will take that all too important role of being godfather and godmother to little George in the lead, of course, Uncle Harry and Auntie Pippa. But members of the royal family usually get about six godparents, so there's still room for more and all those details will be revealed closer to the christening. Bianca and Dan, back to you. The other detail, of course, is what is Kate going to wear? She always looks fabulous anyway. All right, Lama, thank you. Ron and I have been taking bets on that for weeks now. For what she's going yeah, yeah. Ron's going with lavender, I thought. <laughs> yeah. Lavender, what do you think? Polka dots, maybe? Yes, uh, well, I, I don't want to reveal it now. <laughs> Keep it waiting.